let's have a look for type two. The topic here we will be learning is analysis of data network. So the network is given to you. I need to get it to determine the transfer function for V2 by V1. So let's have a look. What will be the defined step for this one? Two things I need to remember for solving this one. Vertical, horizontal, vertical, or horizontal. That's the only thing which you'll be doing in this kind of time. When I talk about vertical, my dear friends, I need to find current. When I talk about horizontal, I need to find voltage. Just keep that in mind. When I say vertical, current. Horizontal, voltage. So when I see the sum, it's given plus or minus V1 plus or minus V2. The I2 current is zero, I1 is flowing in this graph. Since there is no potential difference, so I need this uh, V2, this is VD, this is VA. Branch current, this is I1, I1, this is IA, this throughout is IB. Since the current is zero, so this is IB, also the same current will be flowing over here. So this was the only the naming part. So let's understand further how to solve this part. When I say my dear friends, I don't have any potential difference between these four points. That means no resistance, no inductor, no capacitor. When there is nothing in between, that means the potential difference are seen. So if there is no potential difference, that means I can say V2 and VB are same. So my first step will be, my dear friends, VB will be equal to V2. That's the first logic. Now let's talk about vertical. When I say about vertical, my dear friends, for vertical, I need to remember about current. When I say about Ohm's law, Ohm's law is equal to V is equal to IR, right? So if I need to find current, it will be P by R. So if I apply Ohm's law, IB current is flowing from this point to this point. So there will be difference of this point. So this will be VB minus 0 upon the term which you are having it. So the term is 1 upon X. So it will be, my dear friends, IB, that is vertical, VB minus 0 upon the term 1 upon x. So if we I solve this term, it will be S into Vb. That's why I take number 2. So if I replace Vb in terms of Vb, so I get this equation. So that's why I take number 3. So with everything I need to get it is in terms of V1 and V2. The reason behind it because the question says I need to find transfer function V2 by V1. So let's do it. This you got IB by solving the vertical part. Let's talk about the horizontal part, my dear friends. When I talk about horizontal part, my dear friends, so this is your horizontal part. So I need to write an equation for this part. So it will be VA equal to 1 into IB plus VB. It will be VA equal to 1 into IB plus VB. So the equation which you get, horizontal, you need to get vertical. Horizontal, you need to get voltage. So VA is equal to 1 into IB plus B. So get the value of IB. IB you got S into V2. So replace it. So you got S into V2. VB you got V2. So replace it. So VA you will be getting my dear friends. If you take V2 as common. So that's your equation number 4. So this was the horizontal equation which we have written it for voltage. Now let's again go for vertical. When I say about vertical, my dear friends, that means I talk about this part. So this will be I, VA minus 0 upon this part. So apply Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. So the equation will be, my dear friends, I is equal to VA minus 0 upon 1 upon. So your I A will be equal to S into VA. So I've already got the value for VA. The value which I got, put the value in this equation so it will be s into s plus 1 into v2 so that's your value for ia which you got is s square plus s will be equal to v2 that's your equation number five so this is this equation you got by using solving the vertical part now let's go for the horizontal part my dear friends for horizontal part the equation which you i need to get at my dear friends is ia the ia this is for the vertical equation right so let's go for the further part. For further, if I talk about the I and I1. So the equation for V1 will be, my dear friends, it will be 1 into I1 plus V1. So, so V1 will be equal to 1 into the I1 
is as it is. The I win and I A is on the same thing. So your V A is if you get it, the V A the equation which you have already obtained is S plus one V two. Since I win is running the same thing, so the current which you will be getting is I win will be the addition of both the currents. That means it will be the addition of I A and I B. When I talk about I B, my dear friends, I win. So it will be the addition for I A and I B. So plus S plus one V two. So let's add the equation, my dear friends. So if I need to add the equation, so V one will be equal to I A. The value for I A, which I got is was S square plus S V two. The value for I B, which we got after solving the equation, was S V two plus we have S plus one V two. So if I simplify V two V two V two is taken common, the equation which I get is S square plus S plus S plus S plus one V two. The equation which I get is S square plus three S Plus one v two, and the equation which I need to determine is v two by v one. So check v one and check this over here. So we'll be getting one upon s square plus three s plus one. So that's the equation of transfer function which we need to calculate. Just keep that in point. There is one difficult equation in this is that by we are written in place of i one, i a plus i b. This is very important. A y. Just revise it once again. The reason is that because this is the I one, so your I one current is getting split into two currents. That's the reason the I one is equal to I A plus I B. That's the reason for I one we have written as I A plus I B. And put the value of I and put the value of I B which we have already calculated and simplify this equation. The equation at the end should be in terms of V and V two because your question says determine V two by V one. That's it, guys. Signing off. Thank you so much, my dear.